Hey, this is Matthew Butler. Welcome to the tutorial on how to make your personalized beer bottle. So once you open up the project file, it'll be pretty simple and straightforward. You have this 0, 1, 2, 3, and 4. You just basically follow down the line. So the first one, click on 0 label. That's going to be your label. So right now I have this U.S. Surgeon General warning for all beers that are sold needs to be on this. So I included it on the bottle um, label here. You can, you know, rotate it around if you want it at the bottom or change it however you would like. And then I have two, three other items here that are just the background that I'm using, which you can completely delete and bring in your own label or create your own label. And then the Video Hive or the um, Invato logo here. So if I were you, I'd just delete all these and then you just have the Surgeon General warning and then you can create your own background here so I'm just gonna make a quick one right here and super so once I get this done we can move into the label for the top of the beer bottle And let's change the fill. There we go. And let's move this text into the actual label. And just put some text in here. Beer. There we go. Perfect. So next you'd go to the neck part, which is the top of the beer bottle. So the beer labels right there. Notice the text. Um, so this label here on the top, not all beer bottles have them. Um, so if you don't want them, you can just delete everything on here for the neck and you won't have a neck beer logo logo tag there. But if you do, you can simply you know make your um, solid or bring in your own um, text label, text items. I'm just gonna type in beer again, make it nice and bold, put it out at a little angle here. Special. All right, go back to final. There you see the beer again. Um, and then finally, we got the Envato logo here at the end, and right now it just animates on being revealed by this mask on logo so it's just animating on like this but if you want to create a more personalized logo you can easily just turn off or delete both of these layers and then animate your logo on however you would like to have a more personal logo animation compared to just this wiping on effect. So just for the sake of simplicity, I will delete the Envato logo and add my awesome beer logo here. And I got a little orange line. And let's say I want to have a little animation on there. What I can do is click this little add button, trim path, and make two keyframes real quick. Put an ease on it, and we're in business. So now it animates with the little orange line, and since I'm not making a custom thing that starts invisible. I'm just going to put this underneath the mask so it animates on. So when you watch it, you can see it animates on. But you can also easily just turn off that mask layer or delete it and it will just appear on. You see a little line animation there. And then finally, you're on step four. You can click on this 
in text here, which is layer one. In text, you can make that, you know, super beer is the best. Please drink responsibly. And that's going to be your little in tag that comes up. Now, let's say you just want to have the beer only on the screen. You just want to have a little lock up image of the beer. You can easily just click this layer two and three and turn those off and then you just have your beer. Or you can also delete this super in the bottom and just have that beer as well on there. If you want to get more personalized with this and change like uh, colors or change the background to your own personal background, uh, you can follow these steps. You can click this little shy guy here, which is going to show all of the other little layers here that controls the entire project. So if you're wanting to put this on your own background, let's say, you can do this. You can go into the pre-comps, pull in pre-comp number one, put this over it, and then go down and select Silhouette Luma. And you'll have your beer bottle. And let's just bring up this stuff at the end again. So you got your beer bottle, your beer, your super here, and then you can put this into a new composition, which will have your background. So you got your beer right there, and then let's have this awesome red background, which will be your new background. And that's basically it. Um, if you have any questions, just feel free to email me on my Video Hive author page, and I'll be sure to get back to you. Thanks.